Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a stippling video, but it's going to be a little bit unlike other stippling videos you've seen me do in the past. In the past, I've used this uh, really good Weller 40 watt um, stippling or soldering iron. It's worked very well for stippling. You've seen me, uh, this is how I stippled my Glock 26, also my Glock 21, and many others that you've seen on my channel. Um, but I had a guy reach out to me, um, a guy named Micah Hewitt. And uh, he actually owns a company called Oregon Trail Defense over in Eastern Oregon. And he reached out to me and uh, asked me if I would be interested in testing out some of the tips that he makes for stippling, uh, specifically for stippling guns. Up to this point, I've just used regular soldering iron tips. So this will be my first time uh, trying anything specifically designed for stippling guns. Uh, now, when you get the package, uh, he does have a couple different tips that you can use. And in his pack, you can actually get four of them. So I have these two that I'm going to be testing out. And one of the first things you'll notice right off the bat is made in USA. Whenever I can get something made in the US, obviously I'm going to prefer that over anything else. Especially in my case, considering these are made in Oregon, uh, that makes it even better. Uh, so he has two different style waffle patterns and let me see if I can show you these close up. Basically um, you have this kind of you know like the name implies a waffle pattern on the tips there uh, and we have the large size and then we also have the smaller size which has an even tighter pattern of that kind of waffle tip. Now one cool thing that I'm excited to try with these is uh, normally stippling takes an excessively long amount of time to do because you have a single point and you're doing it over and over and over. I mean, even this small frame Glock 26 took me about three hours to do this entire thing. Um, the nice thing about something like this with a wider tip is I can do a lot more surface area at a time and get this stippling job over a lot quicker. Uh, so instead of using this Weller soldering iron, I'm going to be using my wood burner. Um, uh, I guess it's a plaid brand. Um, so I'm going to be using this guy to actually do the stippling. So it's going to be a little bit different, like I said. Um, one cool thing, too, about these tips is for the first time ever... Um, for my channel, I'm going to have a coupon code for you guys. So if you guys are interested in it, I'll put a title down here with what the coupon code is. If you go there, um, I can't remember how many he said, but I, I think he said for the first uh, 30 people or something like that who use that coupon code, you're going to get some, some money off, which is awesome. Uh, so I really, really appreciate him doing that for you guys. Um, so I'm going to be trying this out. Basically what I've done is I took a standard A2 grip like this and basically sanded them smooth on three different ones. I'm going to try doing it a couple different ways. Um, one note right off the bat before I even start, I know that the A2 grips are made of a much, I guess, harder polymer than something like a, a Glock frame or Smith & Wesson frame. So I don't know how true to um, a gun frame that this A2 grip will represent, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll try our best and uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and warm up my, uh, my wood burner and I'm going to start sippling and we'll see uh, how things go. All right, so now I've uh, pretty much finished up testing out all these different tips, and I gotta say, it went a lot faster than I even expected it to. Um, <laughs> I, I slated out a couple hours today to be able to do this video, and I think all told it took me far less than an hour. In fact, as I show you the final product on a lot of these, I'll show you the elapsed time it took 
to get to the point at um, you know where I'm at now with it. Uh, but I really got to say, if if you don't want to take excessive amount of times to do it, I mean, like I said, um, on this Glock 26 here, just this on this you know small frame gun took me about three hours to do all that. Um, for these, it it was probably around 10, 15 minutes at the most per grip. Now, obviously, if you're doing the full frame, it might take a little bit longer, but man, not not by much. Uh, so the first one I did was obviously the bigger waffle tip, um, which, you know, now you can see there's, there's definitely some polymer in there. And now he says on his website, you can expect these to last long enough to do two full handgun um, uh, frames. So, you know, order accordingly. Um, and you'll notice, you know, there's some definite uh, kind of circular patterns in there and I kind of refined the technique over time um, but I actually found that if you if you just kind of push it down in each spot then you're gonna get that kind of patterning but what I found is if you kind of roll it on in the direction that you're going so if I'm going from right to left if you kind of roll from right to left what it does is it pushes that crest along with it so it actually keeps it nice and flat uh, you can see I started to do that, oh, uh, where was it, you know, I kind of started to do that on the smaller one, and you can see it's a lot smoother. Um, so, in, especially if you're moving down, if you kind of go from like the top right to the bottom left as you go, and then if you're going from left to right from the top left to the bottom right as you go, it'll really push that crest down, and it'll give you a much smoother, more uniform surface. But even then... I still think that looks better than a lot of the do-it-yourself jobs that I've seen a lot of other people do. And if you're not worried about the aesthetics as far as using it in a utilitarian way, this still feels really, really good. It grips really, really well in the hand. Um, honestly, because it was going so quickly, I even decided to do the full wraparound on this one. Um, and I'll be honest, I, I didn't expect it to do well on the concave areas, you know, above and underneath um, this little finger uh, finger groove. I even almost considered cutting these off before I did it, but I decided to try it out. And I gotta say, I was I was rather impressed with how well it, it did that contour. Uh, now this was with the smaller tip. Um, so obviously it's gonna be a little bit easier to get into the smaller areas um, with this guy, but uh, I, I will say that um, I, I was really surprised at how well it, it handled all that even down here at the bottom of that uh, bottom of the grip. And I also got to say, I wasn't sure how it would do with straight lines, trying to get nice, smooth, straight lines. But, you know, if you take a little bit more time on those edges, it, it will actually do a pretty decent line. You know, I kind of went pretty quick over here. But if I wanted to go back, uh, I could get a really nice line. Even with this, um, the, the bigger tip, I was able to get a pretty decent line, not so much on that side. But I took a little bit more time on this side and along the top. And that's, that's not a bad edge. Normally what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll make a line out for myself. Um, but this actually worked out really well. Uh, now, um, these two tips, you can order them individually. And they're less than 9 bucks a piece. But again, if you use the coupon code down here, or gear 2016 you will get 20% off your order. Um, so you can get these for less than 10 bucks a piece, which is a lot nicer than having to try to make one yourself. Um, or you can buy them in a kit that come with two other stippling tips. Um, one of them is a chisel tip and the other one's just kind of big round nub. And I happen to have one of those already with my kit and you can kind of see how that works. This actually feels really good too. And because it's so large, it this also went, went really, really quickly. So I decided not to do the whole thing, but just to give you guys a proof of concept to see what it would look like. Um, now the full kit with all four of them is less than, I believe, less than 20 bucks. So that's a really good price for four different tips. And if you don't have a wood burner already that fits tips like this, because you can see the, the threaded tips, and I can't remember what the thread pattern is, but I'll put it below, but it's the standard thread pattern for wood burners. Um, if you don't have one, you can even buy these tips in with a kit with a wood burner, and that's like only 40 bucks. Um, and <laughs> I'm trying to avoid saying, but wait, there's more. Um, but, but wait, there's actually more. If you don't feel comfortable doing this to an actual gun, you can do what I did here where you get these super cheap AR, um, A2 style grips and practice on those. But like I said, the polymer is a little bit differently, so it's going to behave a little bit differently from, um, you know, a Glock frame or Smith and Wesson frame, like I mentioned. If you want, 
he has basically sample pieces of polymer for you that will behave a lot more like a Glock frame or a Smith & Wesson frame that you can have for like two bucks. That way you can practice to your heart's content. Once you get really comfortable doing it that way, then you can actually move on to uh, doing it on your actual firearm. Um, so I, I got to say, I'm really impressed with what this guy is doing. Um, I'm, I'm not just trying to say these things to be flattering or because he sent me this stuff for free. Um, as you guys will see soon, uh, a company did send me some uh, gun oil to try out for free. And I have not very good things to say about that. So um, just because someone sends something to me for free doesn't mean I'm bought off. Uh, you guys will see that in, in that A76 review or not really even review because I refuse to use it on my firearms and I'll go into that more in that video. So look forward to that. Um, but I really honestly like what this guy is doing. Um, you know, again, if you, if you look at the pattern here, this went so freaking fast. And if I decided to do that with just the single tip, like I've been doing on my soldering iron, this would have taken at least a couple hours to, to do this much surface area with just that single tip but I was able to knock this thing out super super fast just because you're hitting so much area all at once so if you're if you're looking into doing stippling um, and you you don't want to sit here for three hours and um, you know basically take the same amount of time to stipple your gun as it took to the Hobbit stick it to Mordor um, or Mount Doom or whatever the storyline in those movies is um, you can do it a lot faster and <laughs> knock this out while watching an episode of your favorite TV show. Um, I don't know. I'm just really, really impressed by what this guy's doing. So again, I'll put a link to his website below. Again, it's Oregon Trail Defense, otdefense.com. Uh, you can email this guy at that email address. Honestly, I can't say enough uh, good things about this guy. This guy is also not just making sibling tips, but he also does make these cool nub, uh, nub mods for the Safari ALS system. Uh, so that's really cool too if you want to check that out. But if you guys are interested, seriously, check this guy out. Use the coupon coup, coupon coupon code below to get 25% or 20 percent off your sibling tips order. Um, but I'll, I'll let you guys make up your mind for yourself whether or not you want to try this. But again, I, <laughs> I really cannot say enough about how quickly it went and how easy it was to use, honestly. So... Um, Again, check out his website, see if you want to place an order yourself. As always, I hope you're able to get something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching.